here at McKinley Park, you know, this is a park that has been, I think, for a long time underutilized and to a certain extent ignored. I know Representative Dubois and I have both shared our frustration over the past number of years of wanting to get something done here. Uh, one of our obstacles on the city side, even prior to my arrival, has been that we usually are able to use CDBG block grant money to help do the playgrounds, and this particular location was not within a census tract that qualified. Um, but a lot changed recently. And first, phase one of the, what you can't see on the other side of this big piece of equipment, uh, but the beautiful brand new basketball court that was just constructed, thanks to state money that Representative Dubois was able to obtain. And that was the critical first phase of this project. And already, that court's only been in for a few weeks and it gets non-stop play. I drive by here all the time. And after school, evenings, Saturdays and Sundays, there are 15 to 20 kids out on that court constantly. So it shows, build it and they will come. Well, the court was built and they have come. And it shows us that the demand is here. There is a need here in this neighborhood. Um, and we've really, as we've looked at, this is the sixth park and playground uh, that we've been able to uh, rebuild uh, during our administration. And we really have tried to focus on neighborhood parks and playgrounds. And that's what this is. Uh, this, uh, this park serves the entire neighborhood and I think one of the things that really excites us about this playground is we know that there will be children that live in this neighborhood that can walk to the playground and it will really get um, a ton of use. Uh, as we put this together, and I'm going to introduce you to all the folks, but I guess phase two began with a very generous donation from the New England Patriots Foundation. and. Uh, Tim Carpenter, our park superintendent, was on the lead with our application. Uh, Paul Yamano from my office uh, was assisting. And uh, we were able to pursue a grant opportunity with the Patriots, uh, made it into the second round, into the finals. And uh, the project that Tim pitched to them was this potential project right here. And uh, I was very excited when uh, one day I actually got a phone call from Mr. Kraft to tell me personally that they had selected this project as the playground that they were going to donate in Massachusetts, one of, one of two playgrounds that they were donating. So um, we do have uh, Joe Dufour here from Emmy O'Brien. They're the playground equipment manufacturer. But this is basically a $150,000 donation from the Patriots to purchase the play equipment that will be installed here at, at McKinley Park. And that's really, yeah, let's hear it for the Patriots. Not just did the defense finally show up to a game, but they even gave us a playground. Um, that's the key part. But then in order to obtain this, it required that the city uh, play a role. And the city had to agree to be responsible for the site preparation and the design and the engineering and putting in the foundation. And we knew we weren't immediately in a position to do that. So um, we reached out to uh, Dave Howe at Jay Dorenzo Companies. I know Dave is here somewhere. Dave, where are you? They are right over here, Dave. Thank you. Dave's company, Jay Dorenzo, uh, as a donation, is doing all of the site preparation work and coming in here. And it's a tremendous project that they're doing. And Dave, you know, this wouldn't happen without you. So thank you very much. And Dave gets the credit, but Dan Smith has actually been doing all of the real work. So. Dan has been a key member along with Scott Ferry on the, on the design and construction team here. And uh, you know the other piece of this is, is John Holmgren from JK Holmgren Engineering. And uh, John uh, Pro Bono has done all of the design and engineering work here and come up with a beautiful layout for us. So John, thank you very much. Now, I offer both of these guys a chance to come up and say a few words. You sure neither would like to come up and say a couple of words? All right, all right. Well, w without these two great Brockton companies, uh, 
this project would not be able to come together. We would not have the available funds to pull this all together. So uh, we are deeply indebted to both of them. And Dave's company is right around the corner, right up the street. And John grew up in this neighborhood and is actually coming back and, and giving back to the neighborhood that he uh, played in as a kid growing up. So there's a lot of really neat aspects to this project. We, uh, with the design work that uh, uh, that uh, Holmgren Engineering has done. Another big win for this project is that this playground is going to become ADA accessible, which it is not right now. So this makes it open to everybody. And that was that was Scott and John figuring out how to do it, and Dave figuring out and Dan how to build it. But if you notice, Sheldon Street, the street up behind us here, is under construction. And that's part of the city's commitment. The city is helping with the infrastructure around here. So besides replacing the water service that needed to be updated, uh, Sheldon Street is being redone. It's being widened a little bit. And in the design for the park, there will be six um, six parallel parking spaces uh, put in, two of them handicapped, four not. So now we've created a little on-street uh, parking, but at the same token also that parking will connect directly with the ramp that will be ADA compliant and lead right down into the playground. So now this will be accessible to everybody. And I guess the final piece we were able to cobble together is the, the cost of the playing surface, the foundation. And I guess, Tim, is it okay to say what it is? Are we definitely going forward with the AstroTurf? Okay. So lots of times these playgrounds, you see some of the ones at the school are, are built on this poured rubber foundation, which is the new safe way to do playgrounds. No more wood chips anymore. Those, <laughs> those don't qualify anymore. Um, but we looked at an option with this that everybody loved, and when you see this, it's going to be neat. You got to picture this play set that's custom designed by Emmy O'Brien for the Patriots, and has some Patriots logos and, and Patriots colors to it. And so instead of the poured rubber surface, it's going to be an astra, astroturf surface, artificial playing field surface. So it's actually going to look like a section of football field right underneath the play equipment, but meet all the safety requirements. It's going to have the proper padding underneath. And we don't also think it's going to wear better in the long run. It's going to be easy to maintain, but it's going to make this will be the only playground of its kind at the time we build it with the astroturf uh, artificial turf playing surface underneath the playground. It's going to give it, I think, when people drive by and look at it, it's going to be a very inviting place for, for kids to want to come in and play. And that the foundation costs we're able to put in from our community development block grant money, that's federal grant money that comes to the city each year. The city's contributing about $50,000 of that CDBG money to pay for the playing surface underneath the playground. So you can see this truly really is a private foundation, privately owned Brockton businesses stepping up and the city kicking in where it can and with the help with the state level with doing uh, Michelle and the basketball court behind me really everyone has come together to make this a, a great project so we're really excited about it work will begin very shortly and the plan is to have it in before winter so um, it's a it's an ambitious game plan but Dan tells me we can do it so um, as soon as the equipment gets here we'll get to work on it but in the meantime uh, in the meantime, Jay Dorenzo and Holmgren will begin their work very soon in terms of getting the site prepared and ready so that when the equipment comes, it'll be ready to go in. And we don't have a date yet, but as the date gets closer, we will have a community build day on the day that the play set is actually uh, erected and everyone will be invited to come down and be part of the day of, of construction of the actual uh, play set. So, I, yeah, it's going to be an exciting day. I think it might be a little chilly that day, but we'll dress for it. It'll be worth it. So I, I do want to invite a couple of our local elected leaders uh, that are involved in this project up to say a few words. Uh, so first, uh, State Representative Michelle Dubois. Michelle, if you'd like. I'm going to introduce Jack next. Jack's up next. We're going by age. Yeah. yeah <laughs> thank you so much. Jack is actually really excited about the playground. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
everybody, good morning. I'm so happy to be here with all of you. Uh, just to give you a little uh, geography lesson, I believe that uh, Mr. Holmgren grew up across the street, right? And um, David is just right down the street. I grew up literally two houses away, and my legislative aide, Ann Audette, who some of you know, grew up just five, four houses away. So we were here every single summer day playing in the park. There used to be uh, free lunches that were provided here, and I know that the Park Association would like to find a day that we can do that again for the kids. Um, and I learned how to do GIMP here, and um, Ann tells me that she remembers going to on playground field trips to uh, water country and Lincoln Park, we got we got hecklers in the crowd, and it is true. This is a great park, and what's really so nice about it for me, um, so I'm not a parent, but I always think about what, what would a parent think, and I, what I really like about it is that you can drive by, you can see your kids here, your kids can get independence, but they're still, you can still kind of be watchful of them and make sure everything is okay. And I've really never heard of a problem here in my whole life growing up here. So I was really happy and I thank the mayor, Mayor Carpenter, for his efforts here. It's been a big deal um, in the Patriots. So I love the Patriots, so we won last night and that was a big game and every game is a big game and I love them. So that's wonderful. It's a real team effort and the $35,000 we got secured for the basketball court. That was a really a delegation effort. I, it's in my district, but all uh, Representative Cassidy and Representative Cronin were big parts in helping with that. And uh, Senator Mike Brady filed it on the on the Senate side, and we were able to secure it. And we have seventy-five thousand dollar, another seventy-five thousand dollar earmark right now that um, had been cut. And with the delegation's help, um, we were able to get it re um, recommitted. And so now we're just working on getting that. Um, that earmark of $75,000 released from the governor so we can add uh, swing sets here and some other things that I know that uh, Commissioner, yeah. Park Commissioner Carpenter has in plan. So he's been doing a great job. I want to commend Commissioner um, Carpenter, the Park Commissioner, for his hard work. I love the Park Department. My dad worked for the Park Department his whole his whole adult life. And I love John Dorgan, who used to be the Park Commissioner here. He's a wonderful man, did a lot of good work. And so if you're watching John, thank you for all your work. And um, thank everybody for being here. And I hope you'll join the McKinley Street Park Association. Thank you. Bye. So I'm glad Michelle uh, did mention our, our state legislative delegation because we really do have a great working relationship between the city and our legislators and you know it's you can't get anything accomplished by yourself um, and it's particularly true when we're chasing state funding you've got to try to convince the administration to put money in and then you've got we rely on our legislators to get it through the legislature and to advocate for us up there and uh, I, I have a great relationship. The city has a great relationship with our legislators. Uh, so I want to invite uh, the dean of the of the group up, uh, Senator Mike Brady, to say a few words. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And uh, <clears throat> It's tough being the dean. I feel old enough as it is. I remember uh, growing up in the city when I didn't have any gray hair and so forth, and I was a lot thinner, but I... Uh, had a lot of friends in the neighborhood here and I I didn't come for this park back in the day but there's a little establishment down the street we used to go to get lunch and have a few the Lincoln Club which Joe Murray has done a tremendous job renovating in a couple of the places around the corner of the village we have a lot of great memories in this neighborhood here but I want to thank Representative Dubois she has been advocating very passionately for many many years to get funding for this park and like the Patriots, we work together as a team with our federal delegation, Congressman Steve Lynch, who delivers the CDBG money, as the mayor mentioned. Our state delegation, Representative Cassidy, Cronin, Dubois, and myself, and our local city delegation. And our city council, Lally's doing a tremendous job here, our mayor, and all of our city officials in our parks department, because without the people doing the digging and the shovels, that they're, they're behind the scenes doing the work that they may not get the recognition. They're the people who are going to be doing this park over. And, and Jay Dorenzo and the companies that are here, and John Holmgren, thank you for all your efforts and contributions to our community in Brockton. And I'm very honored to be here as a part of the delegation because none of us do it alone. We work as a team like the Patriots, and working together we will continue to win. So thank you.
Uh, so also, clearly, uh, we're here in Ward 6, and, and another person who's played an important role in this project uh, is the Ward 6 City Councilor, Jack Lally. So we want to invite Jack up to say a few words. All right, it's good to see so many people out. Welcome to Ward 6. Uh, a, couple of, a couple of things I've already gotten addressed. Yes, I did miss class for this today. Uh, and yes, the playground will be uh, will, will still be okay to use. Um, so I'm still going to be all right to use it. So it's a great day. Um, you know, I want to thank everyone who had a hand in this. You know, the Patriots, uh, the mayor, all of the all of the people who came out and you know uh, donated their donated their time and their resources to uh, to getting this accomplished. It will be, you know, I, I drive by this park every single day, and there are always kids out. There are always kids playing, even with, you know, even before the basketball court was redone, there were kids out there. So the, the work that's being done and the work that has been done so far uh, is really, really a tremendous step forward, and it, it really does mean a lot to the area. Um, you know, I thank you all for coming out. All right, well just, you know, once again I want to thank uh, the folks that are here that are making this uh, project possible. John Holmgren with Holmgren Engineering and Dave Howe of J. Dorenzo Companies. Gentlemen, thank you so much. We could not do this project without you. Could not do it without you. So the next few weeks will be very exciting. You'll see the uh, work beginning very soon, uh, the construction work, the site prep, the work on will continue on the street up above uh, to connect. And then uh, we will, as soon as we have the construct date, the, the community build date, we'll get that out. There will be a couple of other very exciting announcements regarding this project uh, coming up in the near future. Uh, but for today, we appreciate everyone being here. Thank you to everyone that's making this possible. And within just a few weeks, we're going to have a great playground here at McKinley Park. So thank you. One, two, three. Here we go. Officially, ground is broken.